Okay, Cal Kwai Open Zoo. Oh, you're eating each one. Well, it looks like we are off to see Mu Dang. Yui said that she would do the driving, and I'm along for the ride. So, I've been wanting to see this little pygmy hippopotamus ever since I saw the cute little pictures of it. And um, I didn't actually realize that it was in Thailand until I got to Bangkok. Thankfully, Yui offered to do the driving if I paid for the gas and bought her some food. So, we got an arrangement all set up. I'm just waiting for her to come pick me up. So that's where we're off today. I'm gonna go see that little piggy. And it's funny because here they say, um, I told somebody about it and they're like, are you gonna go see the pig bounce? <laughs> the bouncing pig so that's what I'm gonna do see the bouncing pig okay guys we're off all right Yui's got the got the driving controls you want to say hey Hi. <laughs> so she's got everything planned out so we're kind of just along for the ride but uh, I think while she drives I might work on doing some YouTube editing so how long is the ride the drive two hours two hours and 30 minutes so that's quite a haul so we're super appreciative that you offered to drive us otherwise we'd have to get a taxi and I checked it out you could get a grab I mean a grab will take you anywhere and the price for a grab get this two two hours and 30 minutes and the price of that grab was around 30 bucks so 30 bucks to take you there and then 30 bucks to get you back so 60 bucks to go five hours in thailand it's pretty awesome so i'll give you guys an update so the halfway point between bangkok and the zoo that mu dang is at has a rest stop and it's cool because i guess it's similar to rest stops in america but take a look at it this place is just lined with different stores of course you know like america you got all the big chains mcdonald's burger king kfc and then all along here is just little food stalls with like street food and stuff that you would normally see but look it's just a huge long line and so everybody stops here to grab something to eat on the way so it's like the halfway point it's really cool give you a little pickup before you get back on the road we're stopping using the bathroom back here some bathrooms charge but this one right here doesn't so that's cool it's a nice day it's kind of warm though but it's nice being inside the car having the ac we're almost there i can start to see signage for mu dang and i'm seeing little things like i just stopped to get some coffee because i was feeling a bit tired excuse me there was a little picture of mu dang on one of the advertisements there so mu dang is over at the Khao kwai zoo and it's an open zoo and yui says that we're gonna have to rent a little golf cart to get around because it's so big um so we're driving there now and and as you can tell it's kind of in a a, a jungly and i mean there's a it's not urban i guess is the best way for me to say it there's a lot of vegetation and i see a lot of greenery like more foresty land which is cool because I hate going to zoos. I don't like how zoos lock up animals and keep them in a cage. So if I do go to a zoo, I do like it to be an open zoo. That makes me happy that it's an open zoo because I didn't realize that it was because I'm not a fan of zoos. But I really wanted to see Mudang, so I was going to make an exception. <laughs> okay, so it was 630 baht for me, her, and the car fee. 350 for me because I'm a foreigner, 200 for her because she's a Thai citizen, and then 80 baht for the car. It's like Jurassic Park. Okay, Cal Kwai Open Zoo. I don't really know if this is the entrance, but look, they have a food center here. We can grab food. It's a big old antelope. And then look, they actually have a 7-Eleven over there. And then the bathrooms is right over there. We parked kind of in the forest there wasn't like a thing we just kind of pulled off from the dirt thing and parked there but now we're going to i think get a go-kart i'm following yui she's leading the way off we go yui cannot stop complaining about how hot it is <laughs> which i find hilarious because she's from thailand and i'm from america and i'm like man this is like this is like mississippi louisiana weather but it's hot. If she thinks it's hot, it's hot. She's also wearing overalls, <laughs> which might have not been the best choice. So this right here is where you can buy tickets for the tram, right back there. If you wanted to take one of the trams, you can see the other people taking the trams. 
Got some owls. Pretty. Oh, they make it easy to figure out where Mudang's at. I guess just follow the, the signage of the big pig. Are we going to the place to rent a cart? Yes, hmm. Oh, look it. Yeah, that's another thing. And she said the white and black. She said the monkeys here, they just let freely roam around. So you got to keep your, your stuff because the monkeys will come and grab it. So make sure that you keep an eye on, on your stuff. So because the monkeys will come and snatch it up. Well, that dude is just straight chilling. So this is where you snag your golf cart. Of course, golf cart tickets is the dead kind of giveaway. <laughs> We're gonna grab a golf cart so we can tool around this place. Cause it looks like it's rather large. I'll have to show you guys a, a map. Now there's one, hang on a second. So here's a map of the place. Kind of gives you a little perspective on how big it is. You can see the 7-Eleven convenience store. That's where we came in. So down there at the bottom is kind of the entrance and uh, this place is huge so you definitely would probably want to get uh, a golf cart and then the hippo's house i believe is probably where mudang is going to be but i could be wrong we'll find out though okay so to rent the cart it cost 500 baht plus 55 baht for insurance oh mudang this way 500 baht gets you two hours with the cart and then if you go over that i think it's an additional 20 baht for a certain period of time, I can't remember how long. We're just driving along now. Oh yeah, the hippopotamus, it's over that way. They have all different kind of exhibits here. Penguins and everything. I think the hippo hippopotamus is that way. Monkey, monkey. Monkey, I see. He eats rice. Monkey is chowing down on the rice. Here. So this shows you the lineage of Mudang. Looks like the dad is Tony and Ayani is the mother. Molly? Huh. Oh. Molly Mother Mudang. So, yeah. So Molly's mother of yeah. Mudang. So who's father? Molly gave birth to fourteen hippos which was transferred to zoos in Thailand and overseas. Okay, let's go. One of those hippos was Mudang. Oh, we got the big the big hippo. Beware of your valuable possessions. Oh, it's packed. Oh, look, everybody wants to see. Oh, yeah. There's a hippo right there, just chilling. Oh, wow, this is a regular size. These are regular size hippos. So I think that's a pygmy hippo. It's smaller than a normal hippo. Oh, look how cool it is. He's so tiny. He's so tiny. <laughs> He's so tiny. He's so small. Oh, he's adorable. So happy that I got to see Mudang. Look, you can see, oh, this is really the park. Like, it shows you this is the parking spot. And he just happened to come out of the water right as we got there. It's just really cool. Where are the monkeys? They'll eat everything. 
So just like on my video to uh, Monkey Hill, you gotta make sure that you close up your backpack and don't leave any food out or don't leave your phone anywhere because the monkey will take it. And they, they have said like monkeys will take phones and keys and any little item that they can pick up and they'll take it off into the jungle. So <laughs> make sure that uh, you, uh, you don't leave your stuff out so they can just take it. He's eating each one of the leaves, one at a time. Real slow, taking, taking his time. Chai Cobb. That guy came in. That guy came in. He had like a firework gun, so he popped it off to drive the monkeys away. Definitely not gonna keep the monkeys away from garbage though, that's for sure. I don't care how many firecrackers you have. Oh, this says Madagascar. Oh, Madagascar. The home of the lemur. Lemur home. Very cute, yes. Ring-tailed lemur. Very cute. She, she's a lemur. Very, very cute. Whoa. Ruben, your friend? Oh. Can I? Can I go look? Some kind of territorial thing going on. Well, they're definitely uh, upset. Looks like they're having some kind of disagreement. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> I think the little one is injured. There is blood on his 
leg. Do you see that? Chai cup. <gasps> oh, wow, yeah. Pretty. That lion is just chilling there. And this lion over here is cleaning itself. It seems weird that there's not like a fence. Like they could just jump. Kind of scary. She won't eat you. Yeah, totally. What's the only thing that's preventing them from getting over here? Nothing. Doesn't seem like there's hardly anything preventing them from getting out. Boy, that's crazy. <laughs> Dude, ain't much separating him from us. That's true, but I feel bad, you know? <laughs> oh, I do too. I went to the Masai Mara oh, Wildlife yeah. Reserve, which is, you know, just open land. There is oh, yeah. no gates or anything. And it's still small or what? Or Dude, is it bigger? it's like you just drive around in Africa in oh, a car. Shit. Okay. The It's not really a zoo. It's just oh, the nice. wildlife preserve. Okay. And that's in a, uh, where? Uh, Masai Mara, it's in Kenya. Oh shit, Kenya, nice. Yeah, when you go through the zoo, do you remember Jurassic Park? Yeah. Where you go through the gate and you're yeah. like, Welco Is that where it's filmed? welcome to Jurassic no Park. It's not filmed there, but when you go into the park. It feels like it. It doesn't feel like it. Like you literally are driving in like outback. Think of Africa. Wow. Just okay. Africa and you're on a gravel road and then up in the distance you see this huge thing. And it's a huge gate, but there is no gate. It's yeah. just the entrance with two doors in the middle of nothing. Wow, that's unreal. And so there's no gate or anything. So and it's basically uh, like, a, like a protected area, like a wildlife protected area, right? I mean, yeah, people aren't supposed to hunt on it, but okay. the Maasai Mara people, yeah. the ones that you've seen wearing the red. Oh, is that where they live? And they jump up and down. Yeah. They live there. Holy shit. And they make their Indonesian tiger lifespan, 50 or 26 years. That thing is huge looking. Because she not she she sleep it make me make she fight. <laughs> Good life. Asiatic black bear. I don't know what he's doing. Like dancing back and forth. Definitely has a lot of fur on him though, doesn't he? 
black in Thailand say Mi This Mi Ma English Bear Dog Bear Dog Ow Chico Come on, come on Hmm. Sad. Like they want to go inside. 